Climbers have been bouldering, climbing on small pieces of rock for many decades. Possibly the world's most famous bowler problem, Midnight Lightning, in Yosemite Valley, was established in the end of 70s by famous rock climber Ron Kauk. It took a long time for bouldering to become a well-established discipline, not just something for training or just to kill the time while you were waiting for the good weather to come down in the base camp. In 1999, Bouldering was part of the World Cup for the first time. In the first decade of the Bouldering World Cups, bowler problems were rather similar to the hard outdoor bouldering. It was a lot about finger strength, as you were pulling onto the really tiny holes. It was also about the power in the arms, as the bowler problems were just as steep as most of the bowler problems outdoors. It's not true that it's impossible to find really hard vertical or even slabby bowler problem outdoors. It is just less frequent, I would say. This style, fingery and steep, can also be very technical, it's a lot about finding the perfect body positions, but it has one disadvantage, it's really static. And static can be viewed by some people as boring for the show. Nowadays, if you look at the World Cup style boulders, you will not see many things that 20 years ago you would call holds. Holds used to be quite small in terms of size. Now, volumes, huge features just flooded the climbing gyms all over the world. If those volumes are not enough, you can add a couple of screw-on holds. Holds in their traditional size and shape are almost dead for competitions. With these new weapons, Rootsetters can set basically anything, crazy moves which were basically unheard of and impossible to find outdoors. More and more in the last decade, this style evolved into very dynamic and coordination demanding style. Sometimes you don't really need to be physically strong, but you have to be very dynamic with a lot of coordination and a lot of trust while you're smearing on a very bad feet. If you are a competitor, the main problem is that you never know what the root setters are going to prepare for the next comp. My approach is that I want to be as complex as possible. It is better for me to be prepared for the old school, crimpy and physical style as well. That is why I still make a lot of campus boarding. That is why I still climb a lot of ball problems on tiny holds. Because I know it can be a big advantage if these ball problems appear on the competitions. But of course, it is very likely that I will find some modern style ball problems as well. And it is very difficult to get ready for these ball problems. The problem is to find a training facility to do this. There's no training facility in the world which would entertain me for more than three days. There's not enough boulder problems. That is why I traveled to Tokyo. That is why I invite routers to come and set in my home gym. It is basically endless struggle to find enough bowler problems in this crazy dynamic style. It requires a lot of invention, a lot of creativity, but I must say I enjoy it a lot.